हेलो बच्चों दिस इज मोहम्मद फ्रॉम द साई मेटा कोचिंग सेंटर कोटी हैदराबाद सो इन अवर लास्ट वीडियो वन शॉर्टकट आई हैव टोल्ड यू रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक लिमिट्स दैट वाज रिलेटेड टू लिमिट एक्सटेंड्स टू इनफिनिटी कोफिशियंट ऑफ हाईएस्ट डिग्री टर्म बाय कोफिशियंट ऑफ हाईएस्ट डिग्री टर्म ओके सो दैट वाज मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग नाउ सिमिलर कांसेप्ट ओनली सिमिलर शॉर्टकट ओनली विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन दिस वीडियो आल्सो ओके कम ऑन लेट अस स्टार्ट ओवर हियर सी दिस वन सो ओवर देयर व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड मींस इफ यू आर हैविंग लिमिट एक्स टेंड्स टू इंफिनिटी f of x divided by g of x f of x divided by g of x where where f of x comma g of x belongs to which functions we have taken algebraic functions which functions algebraic functions okay this part we have taken so what we have written the shortcut over there means uh, we are writing simply coefficient of highest degree term divided by coefficient coefficient of highest degree term okay this part we are having now what is the today's shortcut what we are having let us see this part now okay. now what we are discussing means see this part if you are having limit x tends to infinity f of x divided by g of x f of x divided by g of x but over here what will be taking means where f of x comma g of x belongs to exponential functions which function exponential functions okay this part we have taken so if you are having algebraic functions we have to remember highest degree term if you are having exponential function then what we have to take means same concept coefficient coefficient of a highest base term okay coefficient of what a highest base term highest degree term highest base term that's it now what is the meaning of highest base sir we have understood what is the meaning of highest degree x square x cube x power 5 x power 10 that's the meaning of highest degree we are having what is the meaning of highest base over here now let us see this part highest base means sir suppose we are having 2 power x and 5 power x this part we are having 2 power x and 5 power x is there so in this what is the base we are having 2 what is the base we are having 5 means means 2 is there 5 is there so what is the highest number in that 5 like that you have to select so what is the highest base term we are having means what 5 power x what you have to select 5 power x 2 power x is there 9 power x is there what is the highest base term 9 power x okay like that you have to select then again same concept okay come on let us start over here what are the questions we are having aa jao aao 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 come on let us start limit n tends to infinity 2 power n minus n by 2 power n okay x tends to infinity or n tends to infinity both will be same only okay now in this question we are having 2 power n 2 power n okay now can you identify from this complete question what is the highest base term we are having what we are having highest base term what we are having so we are having the same part 2 power n is there 2 power n okay now for this 2 power n what is the coefficient we are having 1 Divided by for this two power n, what is the coefficient we are having? One. One by one is equals to one. That's it. That's it. Okay. Now, next question. Limit x tends to infinity. Two into three power x plus one by five into three power x plus two. We are having. Okay. This part. Now, from this complete question, from this complete question, what is the highest base term we are having? Only one we are having, three power x. Okay. Now, what is the coefficient of three power x in the numerator? Two. What is the coefficient of three power x in the denominator? Five. What is the answer? Two by five. Okay. Next one. Limit x tends to infinity. Five power x plus one by nine power x plus one we are having over here. Okay. Now, from this complete question, we are having five power x and nine power x is there. Five power x, nine power x means what is the highest base term we are having? Nine. power x okay now what is the coefficient of 9 power x in numerator <laughs> sir what you are asking me question sir 9 power x is not there in the question if it is not there in the numerator we are not having then what is the coefficient zero the coefficient of 9 power x in the numerator is what zero coefficient of 9 power x in the denominator is what one zero by one means what zero Okay. Now next one. Limit x tends to infinity. Three power x plus one plus four by three power x plus two plus four. We are having. Okay. This part we have taken. Now if you are observing these questions, we are having three power x. 
okay 5 power x 9 power x like that only we are having but in this question we are having 3 power x plus 1 3 power x plus 2 like that we are having first we have to simplify this question okay now what we have to do means uh, limit x tends to infinity like this we have taken now 3 power x plus 1 means we can write it as 3 into 3 power x also 3 into 3 power x because 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 bases are same in multiplication power should be added what is the power x what is the power 1 x plus 1 we can write like that okay so we have written this part next to what we are having plus 4 we are having divided by again this also what we can write now 3 power 2 into 3 power x okay so bases are same in multiplication power should be added okay like this we have taken now next one what we are having plus 4 it is equals to now, can you tell me what is the highest base term we are having in the complete question 3 power x, okay. So, what is the coefficient of this 3 power x in numerator 3 divided by what is the coefficient of this 3 power x in the denominator 3 square, 3 square means what a 9. So, 3 ones are 3 threes are. So, it is equals to 1 by 3. What is the answer we got a 1 by 3. 3 okay now let us go with the next question now limit n tends to infinity 5 power n plus 1 plus 7 power n plus 1 by 5 power n minus 7 power n okay in this also we are having power n plus 1 n plus 2 like that we are having this first we have to simplify okay let us go for simplification now n tends to infinity for this what we can write 5 into 5 power n bases are same in multiplication power should be added next plus 7 into 7 power n divided by 5 power n minus 7 power n okay now can you identify see that question carefully see that question carefully over there in that question can you identify what is the highest base term we are having 5 power n is there 7 power n is there 5 power n 7 power n means so what is the highest base term we are having 7 power n okay if you are having 7 power n what is the coefficient of 7 power n in the numerator 7 divided by what is the coefficient of 7 power in denominator minus 1 what is the answer minus 7 what is the answer minus 7 7 okay now let us discuss the last question what we are having in this also we are having n plus 1 n plus 1 n plus 2 like that concept something 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 is there let us simplify this part so limit n tends to infinity what we can do this one 3 into 2 power n plus 1 means how we can write uh, 2 into 2 power n how we can write 2 into 2 power n. this 3 is separate 3 is separate for this we have written like this bases are same in multiplication power should be added okay that part is completed now next one minus 4 into 5 power n plus 1 means how we can write uh, 5 into 5 power n like this we can take 5 into 5 power n okay now divided by now what we are having over here 5 into 2 power n plus 7 into 5 power n okay like this we have taken over here now we are having 2 power n and 5 power n 2 power n 5 power n means uh, what is the highest base term we are having 5 power n yes or no so if you are having 5 power n over here what is the coefficient of 5 power n in the numerator can you tell me can you tell me over here what is the coefficient of 5 power n in the numerator only 5 only 4 or we have to multiply we have to multiply now obviously we have to multiply over here so what is the coefficient of 5 power n in the numerator means sir minus 4 5 is a 20 divided by okay what is the coefficient what is the coefficient of 5 power n in the denominator 7 what we are having 7 so what is the final answer we are getting over here minus 20 by 7 minus 20 by 7 so this was the shortcut related to today's video what we are having okay so in our last video and this video we have discussed one uh, excellent shortcut over here what we are having whenever we are having limit extends to infinity f of x by g of x and both are algebraic functions means we have to select coefficient of highest degree term in numerator and denominator and whenever we are having the functions related to exponential functions uh, we have to select the coefficient of highest base term in the numerator and the denominator okay so this was a today's video over here hope you enjoyed this video also if you have enjoyed please share this video with your friends and uh, share this video in your whatsapp group also okay thank you very much